Hi, welcome to the Chasing Tone Podcast. I'm Travis. I'm Max. I'm Ryan. All right. Yeah, man. So I just kind of want to get a little disclaimer out there real quick. Just uh, this is, um, we, we never really go off the deep end and say anything too bad. But every now and again, we're going to say some PG-13, you know, words, right? Yeah, you know, so just want to get that disclaimer. If you don't like some words that are allowed on television but are still a little harsh, maybe you want to get some earmuffs for the kids, right? There no. We go. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is a podcast by guitarists. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's Ma- Max put it well. He said, "Look, we have a, we have a limit a limited vocabulary. <laughs> Musicians aren't smart, <laughs> but no. And and if you've been following us, you know it's nothing too bad. But you probably know. Okay, enough of that, right? Let's right. get into some just, fun stuff, just right? Just to get that out of the way. Yeah, let's yeah. let's get into some gear, right? All right, <laughs> <Not> gear. <laughs> gear. <laughs> So one thing I, I think is kind of cool is like the big craze now is, uh, and I guess not now, it has been for a while, is the ever so popular low wattage amplifier. Of course. I mean, I've seen one watt amps. I mean, is it Marshall that just came out with a one watt amp? I can't remember. But yeah, I know Marshall did, yeah. There's yeah. actually several of them. I think Orange has a low, yeah. low wattage amp, Vox does. But I mean, and... I'm talking like the one watt amps, you know, oh. but... I mean, I've seen the one, I mean, I'm not even getting into power scaling or anything yet. Just straight up, one tube, one knob, let's go. You know, most awesome. of them are around the five watt. Five watts, I've seen a bunch of those, yeah. So, um, a couple different things. Number one, let's, I mean, I like to think we know why, but I mean, some people may not know why, you know, and the you can gas it harder, and most people know when it when you gas a tube harder, it saturates more, it compresses more, and that's the desirable tone, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I mean, I have my own personal opinions on, like, for example, I'm not a big fan of, like, the 1 watt, 5 watt, 10 Me watt Me neither at all. At all. I can ne- I mean, I, I would, like, personally, I like a 50 or 100 watt amp, but I just think <laughs> yeah. it has, it's ballsier. It's got, yep. it's got girth to it. PG-13. Well, it, I'm joking. It's, I'm it's, joking. It's more there's, testicular. There's, there's, you, you kept talking about girthy, ballsy. I'm like, yeah, it's more, it's more <laughs> testicular. So, uh, but I mean, seriously, it's got it's got more yeah. bottom, like real bottom end. You know, what like I mean? like the stuff you can feel. Yes, you know, it, it's almost like going from like a like a ten inch little small cabinet mm-hmm. into like a huge four twelve. Right. You know what I mean, in a way. No, compl- I don't think in a way. I think completely. The only exception I will make is. Um, I, I have an amp, and of course I like it because it's, it's my amp. But no, I have a I have a an old blackface uh, Princeton Reverb that for some reason is like an anomaly. Because would you agree with that? It sounds good, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean it even very low end. It even sounds you know sounds full with a band. So, but you're right, man. I haven't played. I, although there's a great guitar player out of Bloomington. Her name's Sadie Johnson, mm-hmm. and. Yeah. I did this uh, this blues festival, and she was she was on the same festival, and um, it was a rain thing. We it got rained out, so we had to play inside. And I had this, you know, hundred watt amp, and, and, you know, because it was a festival gig. And I was, oh, what am I gonna do? And she's like, I have a blues junior, so I played to this blues junior, and it was one of the best sounding amps. Max, I swear by mine. Yeah, all smaller gigs, not just because it sounds cool, but it's way lighter. <laughs> And the older I get, the more I'm like, yeah, I don't need to what? take the 412 cab or, right. or this and that. And that's something I kind of want to touch base on, too, as far as, like, the lower wattage amps. I have my own theory. And I don't mean to offend here. It's just my own theory, so please don't take offense. But I think a lot of the baby boomers, as they get old, I mean, think about it, the baby boomers. Those were the guys using the super leads. Those are the guys using the 4x12s, right? Am I wrong there? Old basements or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The heavy, heavy gear. Yeah. So now what happens is you get these guys that are like, man, I really like that old basement I had, or I really like that old twin I had, but it weighs a billion pounds, so maybe I want a Princeton or a Deluxe Reverb. <laughs> so what happens, the cost of those, like I was in my favorite shop the other day, and I saw a super, super clean Deluxe Reverb, and you know, I was like you know, kind of interested in it. I knew I couldn't afford it, but I figured I'd ask. It's like, How, what do you want for that? He was like, well, that one's pretty clean. So I want top dollar. So I was like, <laughs> okay, what's top dollar? 
He said twenty eight hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, right? It's cool, but not twenty eight hundred dollars. Right, cool. right. Oh man. Which you know, which kind of this is a little off subject, but that's nothing new. You you guys know one of my favorite amps ever is a Marshall twenty sixty one, right? Sure. Okay. You even named your child after it. <laughs> no, my name. Twenty sixty one's a terrible name. Yeah. Child. <laughs> <laughs> my wife named my child. It's my son. And it was she, after so a TV she character. She loves that amp too. Yeah, she does. <laughs> she actually, she's more of a JTM forty five kind of girl. <laughs> but it's even a worse is, name for a kid. Yeah. yeah. This has letters though. So. <laughs> yeah, at least it has letters. This is my son but, JTM. But his his son, <laughs> it's, it's, it's my, it's my grandpa, my grandson's going to be JCM, <laughs> right? <laughs> 800. <laughs> but so the thing that drives me nuts, and, you know, I hope I don't catch any slack for saying this, but the reissues, the hand-wired reissues of those 2061s, I think are around $1,800. Well, I was talking to a store out in L.A. that specializes in nothing but vintage British amps. You know, high watts, Sound City, I mean, Vox, everything. Marshalls, of course. He had several 68 to 72s. I think they made them until 74. I can't remember. But he had these old vintage ones, and he wanted like two grand and 2200 hmm. And it's like, why would you spend, a, I guess, maybe a warranty or something? You know, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't I mean, it's, it's kind of the whole thing. If you can get the money for it. You right, know? right. Well, yeah, I don't I, know. I don't know why people would want to spend that additional money for it. But you see, know. not me. I would rather spend the extra four hundred dollars or two hundred dollars and get the real deal. <sighs> see, wouldn't you? No, you'd rather go the eighteen hundred. See, de- but you're depends, more of an electronics though. guy. It, I mean, it it, de- it depends. Like, I mean, I'm saying this because I've never opened up both of them to compare them side by side. It's yeah. probably the exact same. So, it could be, but I mean, a lot of times, like some of the old capacitors they had back then may not be exactly like they make now. They may have the same brand name, technically, mm-hmm. but it may not still not be exactly. And parts do kind of wear in a little bit over time, and just stuff changes over That's time. That's an interesting point. So um, you totally could have the exact same thing, exact same parts. Circuit, layout, parts. Yeah, and it sound different. I mean, that's, right. that's that actually could happen. But I don't know. Man. I, I, I'm, I, here's where I'm coming from. If I get an amp... I'm probably going to open it up and start changing. That's stuff. exactly what I was getting ready to say. I was you like, know? yeah, but you're, you're different yeah. and, and not trying to like exclude you here. But the <laughs> thing is, is if you get an amp and you're like, Oh, it sounds good. It could sound better. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah. That's why I try this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last time I did, I have to use chopsticks. I don't know if I opened up an, an amp I had. There's, there's fried rice in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I said exactly. And I didn't even mean to. <laughs> Travis, I didn't even use that exactly. Oh my gosh! Uh, oh, but. oh geez, I, I hear lawsuits now. <laughs> I think a bunch of racists. No, I'm not. It, is it? Stop it! Don't single me out here. <laughs> I, now I'm all flustered. The so chopsticks. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I opened up my Rivera right because I got tired of taking it to the shop, and you know, Paul, if you're listening, man, it's nothing against your amps, but this one has been. I've played it forever and it's blown it up. Yeah. Six times. Yeah. A bunch, man. I've mistreated this amp. So it's nothing about your amps. It's just the way I've treated this one, but I got tired of paying for the repair costs on it. So I finally decided to turn it on and keep in mind, this is before I knew anything. <laughs> so the way I fixed my amp was I stood with one hand in my pocket on a rubber mat with a chopstick and I just kept poking at stuff <laughs> until I heard it go. <laughs> that's, oddly enough, that's actually a way that a lot of guys will fix things. It's really? Just like tap, poking on stuff because if there's a bad connection there, you'll hear it. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. I heard a. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's it, it. Bad cap. Oh, okay. Or, or you know, tube socket or whatever you're poking on. You know? Right. That's yeah, so that's, funny. That's actually a method that people use. I mean, I knew that was, and that's why I did that. <laughs> I mean, that's, I, you know, I learned that in, in amp fixing school. <laughs> right? Uh, right? It would have funny to see that. I'd be like, dude, what are you doing? Poking stuff with a chopstick. <laughs> 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 like, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's nothing. nothing. We, we've both tinkered around before we started working here, Max. I remember oh, yeah. you brought over a modified <laughs> DS1. He's like, check it out. I decided to put it in a, uh, in a, in a wooden box. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, what? And there was all kinds of ground issues in it. Yeah, I have no idea why. <laughs> That's because Boss Battle has a plastic sleeve at the back, 
And I had, yeah. I had lost that or thrown away because I was stupid. So everything kept grounding out. So I put like a painter's tape to like <laughs> barrier as a barrier, and that wasn't working. Yeah. So I was like, wood isn't a conductor. I'll build the enclosure out of wood. <laughs> right? It's so like the top of it's metal, and the rest of the enclosure is wood. I was like, Dita's boutique. You want to <laughs> it's literally teak. There's, there's, there's been people that actually have done that, and but a lot of times, because they're just shielding is what you need. And that's right. kind of what the enclosure right. provides is shielding for noise and other things. Mm. So I know that now. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so if you take like copper and line the inside with copper, you can build wood boxes all day long. Boom. So Patent bo- pending. Think, Patent pending. I think most people build wood boxes because they're, they wanted to. I, I did mine because I had to. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to hold the circuit. Kind of like a casket air. for a pedal. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you're, you're a woodworker, man. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I enjoy woodworking. Yeah. Man. Remember that time? I had to make a, a ramp for my dog. Yeah, my dog like had like had 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 to have surgery on her back because, you know, she's paralyzed or whatever. But anyway, so I was like, I'm gonna make a ramp, and she learned to walk again. So, but I'm gonna make a ramp for my deck, right? And so Max is, I'm like, man, you're good at woodworking, right? Can you come over and help me? He's like, yeah. He didn't do anything. He just sat there and watched me. He drank beer. I'm like, I'm like, what do I do here? He's like, hit that, hit that button on that saw, man. It'll make it, it'll make <laughs> it go at an angle. Then you lop at an angle, but it's a real hard cut. You'll probably mess it up. And I showed you, I showed you how to do it, and you did it. He's yeah. cheering you on. Yeah. So if you teach a teach a man to fish, you don't, you gotta read that book. It helps. <laughs> Anyways, is that the Bible? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I read Abraham Lincoln on the internet. I think he said that. <laughs> I got Logan on that one. Okay. Anyway, this show is so blasphemous. Let's yeah, just keep going. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and and that's how we lost our listeners. <laughs> but back to the amps thing. Okay. Now let me ask you this: there was a there's a bad cat, like little bitty amp, and it was like one watt. Yeah. And if yeah. I remember correctly. I don't know if I was supposed to do this, but it had a line out, and I went into it and out of it into another amp. Is that right? Because I was at a music store, and some guy was like, hey, try this. And I remember plugging into that, but it was coming out of the other amp, and it wasn't just hooked up to that speaker cabinet. I don't know that exact circuit. If it's like uh, like the line out, is it like a speaker line out, or is it like no, a, it's like like a, a line effects out, like, loop yeah, type of line out? like a recording, like you could plug it into something okay. else. Well, if it's like a recording out, that's not bad. If it's like line level going out, that might... Right. I, I can't remember, shoes, but, but it sounded awesome. It was like huh. it just slammed the front of this amp, and it was it was amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. Pro- okay, so yeah, you, you, basically you had a really loud booster in front of another. Exactly, amp. it was like a pedal, and it was an amp. Did did Pat smoke come out of it? No, I didn't let the well, factory. Then you smoke did it right. <laughs> 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 if it didn't smoke, it didn't up. Speaking of which, I have a question. I don't know if anybody out there's tried this, but on Fender style amps, or well, I guess. I don't know. I do it with my fenders all the time, but I'll go into channel one with my guitar, but I can plug a, cha- a cord into the channel two and then out into another amp. How does that work? Um, I used to know this. I, don't I know think why. there's. I think there's still signal. Let me think. I think the two stages are tied together. Okay. And so you can get signal out of it that way. It's messed up. It sounds fantastic. Cool. It's the it same does. principle as like jumping channels. It's been a while, right? so I like that. Yeah, I, maybe, I don't know. I don't spend a lot of time looking at amp schematics. but You I should. I should, except I build pedals. But we could build amps. We could. You have built amps. But then, you know what? I want, I want people to email us at podcast at wamplerpedals.com. And if you say we should build amps, I have two for sale right now. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you email us, I'm going to say 1500 bucks. It's yours. There you go. Guarantee. Why does the price Crickets. always change every time? I don't remember what price we were selling at. It's somewhere <laughs> in that area. That's a deal because last, you've told me sixteen hundred before. It's something. Or something okay, like you that. heard it here. Fifteen hundred bucks for his twenty twenty watt. It's like a brown face deluxe yeah. sort of we'll thing. We'll throw in a t shirt. Throw in a t shirt. Throw in a t shirt right? and a guitar pick. No, I, I wonder if people would buy a Wampler amp. You know, mm-hmm. right? We'll find out. See if we podcast, get any podcast at wamplerpedals.com. Wampler I'm saying say we but, get. I'll, I'm holding my breath. I guess. Yeah, wait, pass it, out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> passing out's not good. I thought I was gonna pass out earlier. Did it's not eat? good. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, I ate. It's just. It's uh, whatever. But so. <laughs> <laughs> and with that description. <laughs> I drank okay. a lot of beer. On the- yeah, I drank a lot of beer, and that's why I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> but so, the the one I'm I'm with you. Have you played any of the uh, the smaller waters? Like I did, like the Epiphone Valve Junior. 
but not enough to keep it. I kept the head out of it and put I another amp in it. See, uh, I, you have one? Yeah, you. Yeah, I think I bought it with you. It was like I got a used one for like fifty bucks. Oh yeah, I put yeah, a twelve yeah. AU seven instead of the twelve AU seven. Yes, yes, yes. That's Sounds right. Sounds killer, dude. Yeah, man. if you do. Yeah, that is yeah. true. If you I put an AU seven, mod- I see some modifications. To those, yeah. And it's a super simple mod because you open it up. That little board is right there. I mean, yeah. it actually is really, really. If you know what you're doing and you know how to not <laughs> shock yourself. I wonder why Blackheart yeah. quit making those because I thought they were no, selling. No, that's those. Epiphone. That's you're Epiphone. talking about the Blackhearts. Yeah, Blackheart has their own thing. Yeah. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. right. You're it came right. Came out at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yes. right around the same. That's kind of yeah. when the craze started because it was like, it's like holy crap, you can get a tube amp for a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You know that the head was a hundred dollars and it was, yeah. you know, and it looked good. You know, well, I put mine in a cherry cabinet. Did you? That one was on purpose. Because <laughs> you're not such a issues. <laughs> Shielding issues. No, it really was like, I got some extra cherry later on. Yeah, there you go. Something. But, that, yeah, if you know, if you guys know what you're doing and know how to shock yourselves, or not shock yourselves, more importantly, then they're fun to mod. But don't ever mess with anything unless you know what that Chopsticks. Ch- chopsticks. No, don't, uh-huh. don't just, for liability issues, don't open up your amp. Yeah, good point. Do not open up your amplifier. Take it to an authorized repair center. Exactly. Yeah, I said so. <laughs> but so yeah that, that is cool you can take an au7 and put it in the in that well it's the only preamp tube right yeah yeah so it's the only only two a- yeah you can get some great tones out of that but i'm with you brian man i like to me i i can't see i i don't know 50 watt amps what i like mm-hmm. ideally i wish i could play a 1987 circuit you know that plexi circuit at, at 50 water that'd be my amp mm-hmm. you know they're just so expensive but okay so that kind of ties that up right the small sure. wattage thing you know right i think so okay another thing too we kind of touched on it with um there's so many different aspects of this but cloning pedals so i kind of want to get into both aspects i want to get into what do you think of major manufacturers not major manufacturers but you know people who sell pedals manufacturers what do you think of them cloning pedals and then what do you think of, say, somebody cloning our pedals? Hmm. You know what I mean? I, I have um, a couple different takes on it. Mm-hmm. There's, there's companies that are, you know, inexpensive pedals made in China or whatever that will take all different kinds of schematics they find online. Like and Triple Rec. I see those that, that one a lot. Yeah, but I mean, there's another company with four letters I'm thinking of off the top of my gotcha. head. Gotcha. The, the, they make the... Can I say it or no? Uh, okay. Nah. But uh, yeah, Google and you'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they, it's basically a bunch of pedals that they've... Some are boutique, some are not, and they mm-hmm. put and another it, name on them, and that's their line. Actually... It's not just the Chinese. I mean, there's other ones I know. But, yeah. I mean, and there's a lot of other ones I know. That actually, that they'll just there's circuits that are out there. I mean, mm-hmm. their whole research and development basically means there's a guy on freestomboxes.com downloading yes. schematics. Yes. And um, scared me. Uh oh, important phone call. Uh oh, <laughs> time out. No, it, and um, it actually it's the proprietor of my favorite music store that's calling me. <laughs> it truly is. Put him, up, put him live on the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should. He's got an awesome voice. He really does. And mustache. Yeah, and he always okay. answers the phone. Too, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I mean, I'm not real crazy about that. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I mean, of course, me personally, I, mean, I just I could understand why a company would want to cash in and do that. That make, right. I mean, that makes sense to me business-wise. Ethically, I think it's kind of a crappy thing to do. Now, the company um, you're talking about... And, and there's actually a couple of companies done it, but the one I said that has four letters. Yeah. Right. And the big pedal... And that's a real popular one right The now. big pedal is... is um, I think that they, they kind of borrowed... I'm saying that nicely. One of ours? It was it the Plexi Drive? Yeah. Yeah, well, was gotcha. Okay. Um, now... Of course, now, I've I found that you can buy a Chinese-made triple rec that looks just like ours, exactly. branded as ours. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's... Yeah, but you're going to get a cardboard PCB. It's not the same you thing. Know? I mean, you don't... It's it's not the same parts in it. it right. I mean, there's, there's, so, there's so many things that go into something and like I think, that. And I, I think mean, on theirs, they call it the cream and crunch instead of hard and brutal, right? I don't remember. It's something like that, yeah. So you want you I mean, want to look out for that. I mean, basically, if a deal is too good to be true, chances yeah. are it I is. Mean, 
yeah, and there's some there's some different things you can you can kind of tell if you if you play them side by side, you'll notice right away what you know the difference between them for sure. If yeah. you open them up, you'll notice a huge difference. Cheap parts versus great parts, for example. Yeah, um, you and know, we also, use very expensive circuit boards. Another example. Um, and never be afraid to email the manufacturer and ask them. Say, you know, hey, I saw this. They're saying it's brand new. And chances are, if their map is, or, you know, their retail cost is $200 and you right. see one for eighty nine ninety nine brand new, chances are. But don't be afraid. Right. I mean, I, yeah. I don't mind that when people email me. I mean, uh, other things. I mean, there's, there's other boutique companies or whatever you want to call it, you know, um, mm-hmm. who, who build clones, of course. There's tons of those. My And then, like we're coming out with our tube screamer thingy with a three-band EQ. Yeah, which is the trick. Clarksdale. The Clarksdale, yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, so, I mean... But I mean, I guess the way I'm looking at it, we don't usually do a lot of clones. You know what I mean? Never. I mean, you did uh, well, the underdog, right? That's we the did only underdog. thing. Uh, Eagle compressor is based off like that Dynacompish style thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's again, that's not a VCA. VCA. Not a style. direct clone, but I mean, still, it's derived from that sort of circuit. Right. But I mean, my whole thing is, if I do something like that, I'm going to be very upfront about it. Of I'm course. not going to say, oh well, I completely designed this from scratch and re- you know totally. Reinvented the Re- wheel. Reinvented how d- a JFET works. You know? <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm pretty clear on that. And I, I, I guess, I don't know if all companies are that way or not. Um, per- personally, so. like from my stand- point of view, ethic-wise, I think it's probably the best thing to do if a company says, okay, this is our uh, fuzz right. face or whatever. You know? Right. And one thing I will say is the major companies out there, and I'm not going to say any names, but the major companies out there are forthright with it because... It does them no good not to be. And what I mean by that, with, with the gear page and freestompboxes.com, it's not hard to find out what a pedal is. You know what I mean? Right. So, like, let's say we release, imagine if we released the Clarksdale <coughs> and we never said that it was based off a tube screamer, everyone would know in a matter of a month right. that it is a tube screamer with, with a three band EQ. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah. it's. You can't hide behind that anymore, you know. So any pedal that's based off that, most companies, the ones I, the ones I follow anyway, like I think, uh, Earthquaker just put out the Palisades, and they came right out and said, "Hey, it's based off a of Tube Screamer, but it has every option you could ever want." And that's right. how we made it. Either, like the one thing you always preach, Brian, I'll come to you and say, "Hey, we ought to do something like this," and you say, "Well, it's already been done." I'm like, "Yeah, but you know, we could do it." And you're, the question you always have for me is, "How do we do it?" Either a better or be different right you know, better or different you right know? my whole thing is i mean like for example let's take the tube screamer mm-hmm. i don't ever see us doing like a three knob tube screamer no mods no changes right or, or you know well ours is different because it has true bypass i mean that's that's been done a million times right. by a million different people i don't want to just put another version of it out mm-hmm. because it has wampler on it of course, you know, and that comes back to the wall pedal. Th- th- that comes back to the wall pedal. We, you know, why don't you put a wall out? And my question is, what the heck am I going to do to it? How do I make it different or better? Right. You know, I mean, Dunlop has eighteen different versions of the wall pedal, and, for and example. And let's face it, nobody wants a different wall pedal. They and, and there's there's market research to to prove that. Look mm-hmm. at the Morley wall. Didn't it use uh, um, light? Right. Uh, optic uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was like. That is completely revolutionary. It's completely different. And the thing you got was people saying, but it doesn't sound like a like exactly. a crybaby or a vox. People don't want different, even when they say they do. Not, I mean, with, not with that, they don't for sure. Right. With, uh, yeah, with the wah wah pedal. I mean, and there's exceptions. There are guys that like the Morleys, for example, because of course. they don't sound like the crybaby wah. But exactly for the for the like the biggest thing, especially when it was the really big, you know, seven or eight years ago, whenever it was, and I was doing a lot of mods. Um, uh, that was the thing I kept hearing is how can you make my Morley into a Vox? And like, no, you, <laughs> right. need, you yeah, need to buy a, completely you need different. to buy a crybaby. You need something with gears. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You need a, I mean, you need, you need that circuit. You know? Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's the one thing I always thought was cool is, is the better or different thing. So the one thing I'll say about clones, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, there's something interesting going on right now mm-hmm. with the clone. There really is right now, <coughs> isn't there? Yeah. You see, everybody and their brother, it's now since uh, Bill Finnegan, the creator of Klon. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know the whole story. I know Bill, but I don't recall the exact story, whether he just didn't make them for a while or whether it's 
problems with manufacturing, but whatever the reason, they didn't come out, you know, like it was planned on. Yeah. And so a bunch of other companies said, we're going to start making, gonna ride that wave. We're going to start making clones and have been doing, some of them have done really, really good. Yeah. I mean, look like electro harmonics. I yeah. Think I was the, getting ready to say, food. I blame you EH for that soul food. Cause I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, they, uh, they probably sold like bajillions. That's well, a real I know. number too. Yeah, it is a real number. But there's a company out there that, that they do great work. They do great mods, you know. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, they buy them so they can mod them and sell them. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and that's great because they're doing the different or or better, you know. They're doing both. <clears throat> so, I mean, I have no problem with that. But you're right, man. I mean, we were looking today, uh, you know, at, at a clone clone and... I mean, they called it something that was cl- well. They didn't really call it something close, but the graphic on it was close. They used the same color style knobs, and they used the same finish. It was like definitely a clone, unmistakably. Yeah. Unmis- yeah, there, yeah, perfect word for unmistakably a clone. So, yeah, you're you love the clone. I kind of want one just for bragging rights, so. though. Like, but, but you I actually like the sound of it, right? I, I played a couple I like, and another, the other ones I didn't like. I really, just, as a collector, though, I really, really want one. Right. Just just to have in the garage. You know? <laughs> people come over and be like, hey, check what I got. Do you ever play it? Nah. <laughs> so it's, my show. it's not going to impress people that don't play guitar. You don't impress people that don't. <laughs> it's true. I don't impress. No, you get that backwards. I don't impress people that do play guitar. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that was hurtful oh was remember funny. the thing you said to your wife that one time so max yeah. and i have this thing can i tell the story, you can tell the story yeah. okay it's max too late now <laughs> max and i have this thing to where like if we're lost at a loss for words and somebody insults us what well, it's off tommy boy right yeah, yeah yeah you know he's like when when he's like you know you're what's he saying you're talking about uh the candy i think yeah the candy shell so, yeah, yeah. it's like you have a thick candy shell yeah and he yeah he said like his his head was like a thin candy shell so he looked back and goes you yours is like a thin candy shell so it's like <laughs> when we have nothing to say like that we'll say that so <laughs> what mm-hmm. so his wife correct me if i'm wrong future wife made him some food and she said How's it taste? I think it's kind of doughy. And he goes, you're kind of doughy. But it was one of those things as soon as I said it. It was B's and G's. She's like, the biscuits are kind of doughy. I'm like, you're kind of do- <laughs> Oh, crap. <laughs> no, I said, ah, oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> but it was one of those things like she looked at me and I was like, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> And she's like, I know, it's fine. Yeah. And as soon as I said, I'm like, oh man, this is good. she's gonna laugh or throw something. <laughs> and she was holding a pan full of gravy. I'm like, this will not be good. <laughs> or will it? No, no. Burning hot gravy with a cast iron skillet being thrown at you is never good. Or would it? No. Okay. It is no. gravy. But it burn. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. Way off track. But the cloning pedals, you know, I mean. There's no way to get around it because there's always going to be fuzz faces. There's always going to be tube screamers. You know, those and, big muffs. Rats, especially rats, the big muffs. Yeah. yeah. And I think, is that because a fuzz circuit is so easy to kind of learn? And, and, and is it, or is it because it's easy to mod? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, because, like, for example, let's take like a fuzz face. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's actually much easier to build like a tube screamer with op amps because it's pretty hard to mess it up. Okay. With with like a fuzz face or transistor base type circuit, mm-hmm. you got to you got to mess with different biases and stuff like that. So some transistors won't only if sound you want as it to good. sound good. Yeah. To I actually mean, make one, you don't have to. But yeah. If you want but, it to sound but if you want to sound good, I mean, you're you're doing a lot of stuff like that. So okay. I mean, I'm I'm not sure what why exactly that was kind of where the beginning of the boutique yeah. guys started gravitating right, you know, to. But you notice that too. It's yeah. not just me that thinks that. No, yeah, it's, it's definitely the fuzz or the big muff or the fuzz face. It's something there. And it's, I mean, I don't, I think it's kind of spreading out, not quite as. Right. But a, when the big boom type, hit. Yeah. 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 It definitely was a lot of, a lot of stuff like a lot of fuzz type stuff. And that's one thing that I thought was kind of odd about Wampler when I first started. I mean, I met you, man, it's probably seven or eight years ago in a, in a guitar center. Mm-hmm. And the yeah. first thing I asked you was, you know, I was like, hey, man, you make any fuzz? And you're like, not really. Everybody else does. <laughs> well, that, was, that was my whole thing. Even, you know, people would email and say, will you build me a fuzz face? I would just say no. <laughs> Go buy a fuzz face. Thanks yeah. for asking. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, because it's the whole different or better. What are you going to make it? Are you going to do put different mm-hmm. transistors in there? Okay, that's been done a thousand times. Right. Are you going to, you know, put a different 
input cap on there. Been done right. a thousand times. And then there was that you one know. time you made a fuzz pedal that was so unique and so different that nobody liked it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> And then there's, but wait, but wait. And then there was that time that you made a fuzz pedal and I said, you should release it. And then you said, if it fails, you're fired. And, <laughs> and I said, said, okay, go ahead. And it's doing good. It is doing really it good. It is doing real good. I told you it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> told you people love it. No one listens to me though. Right, right. You're like, you sure people want a fuzz? We're not known for fuzz. Our last fuzz wasn't good. It didn't do good. You sure we like, should do a that's fuzz? That's because you, I thought your last fuzz sucked. I'm like, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> but the premise of that fuzz was amazing. It just didn't sound the same. Well, and it was because I wanted to do it different or better. And, that, and it that, was different. It was completely different. <laughs> but that being said, now that it's discontinued, Everybody wants one. Well, it's because it's you can't. It's it. not a big muff. It's, it's not a, a fuzz face. It's it's <laughs> it's a fuzzed clon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, there, there. I mean, there's a lot of heavier bands that that love it. I yeah, still get I yeah. still get people and and big bands saying, "Hey, man, can I get one?" Yeah. It's like, sorry, you know, I hate being that guy to say right. no, but yeah, they're gone. They're just yeah. they're all gone. I, yeah. they're, I have seen a few stores online that still have well, right. one or two. I mean, from us, from us, yeah, we have no more circuit boards or anything. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's what you guys are talking about. Why don't you tell me? Because then, because we can't admit. I'm not going to admit failure. Well, it's not a failure. No, I know. I'm teasing. You I'm still teasing. sold a ton of them. Yeah, it's just just not. At it a wasn't rate. what it wasn't what the majority of fuzz people wanted. Right. That's really what it came down to. Because people were saying it's not a fuzz face. Exactly, it's and it goes back to like the Morley mouth. Wall thing. You know, it what goes I mean? back to the Morley Wall thing. Yeah, and you're exactly so, right. So the the thing as a manufacturer is like, what do I, what can I do that's better or different or both that people will still want. And I tell you what, man, you gotta love places and things like the gear page. Think about it, no other, no other like I don't know, industry can get that kind of research for free. Yeah, yeah, big time. You know, uh, and, you can go, you can put out a product and instantly see how it's doing. Right, and that's I mean that's just one of the good things. About, other than sales, let me get on my marketing box here. <laughs> that's that's uh, one of the good things about the internet because yeah, they have it know, on computers now. <laughs> But I mean, think about it. Like, if you were a company in the '90s or '80s, you could not get market mm -hmm. research like that without spending a ton of money. Oh, I know. You know. So thank you, Gear Page. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's some great stuff here. We we touched on the uh, the higher versus lower wattage amps and the clone clone cloning pedals and the cloned pedals. We could man, we could go on that forever. So let's let's kind of call it there sure. for now. We may kind of hit that again later don't you think probably. i think so yeah so talk forever about it so if you guys have any questions ideas or anything uh feel free to email us at podcast at wamplerpedals.com we'll get back to you and we use your uh your idea or comment or anything on the uh on the show or podcast we'll send you a free t-shirt yeah that's still yep. good right yeah okay it's not my money <laughs> <laughs> sure so thank you guys for listening i'm travis i'm max I'm Brian. And by the way, the man behind the tone curtain is yeah. totally catching on. Yeah. I can show you the emails where people are saying man behind the tone curtain. Hashtag wrong is taking off more. Hashtag wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ha hash brown wrong. Hash brown. Mm, wrong hash brown. <laughs> Sounds like an awesome name for a band. <laughs> it does. Introducing wrong hash brown. We're going to have to get to your band name one on a later show. Thank you guys so much for listening. Till next time. Bye.